Hey there guys, we Neo here and welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft 3. This is the same day that is WoW's 9th anniversary, so we are still uploading Warcraft 3. Uh, we're still in the human campaign, we just did mission 2, and now we have a cutscene to watch. It's not a mission, but a cutscene. Jane is meeting two weeks later in the Violet Gardens of Dalaran. must be wiser than the king. The end is near! I told you before, I'm not interested in this nonsense. Then I've wasted my time here. You can show yourself now, Jaina. He's gone. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, Master, but... <laughs> it's your inquisitive nature that I've come to rely on, child. Let crazed fools convinced that the world is about to end. I've heard the rumors of the plague spreading throughout the Northlands. Do you truly believe that the plague is magical in nature? It's a strong possibility. That's why I need you to travel there and investigate the matter. I've arranged for a special envoy to assist you. Yes, Master. I'll do my best. I know you will, child. Farewell. Oh my gosh. Chapter 3. So now we're going back up to Brill. Ravages of the Plague. Three's day... <laughs> Jeez. Three days later in the Alterac. Wait, three days later in... Oh, I thought it said in the Alterac. I was like, oh, uh, that's awkward. Three days later in Alterac, Arthas and his men await near crossroads along the King's Road. Prince Arthas, we've been waiting here for hours. Are you sure this friend of yours is coming? I'm sure. Jaina usually runs a little late. We must help her! Stay your blade, Captain. She can take care of herself. <laughs> Gentlemen, meet Miss Jaina Proudmoore. Special agent to the Kirin Tor, and one of the most talented sorceresses in the land. Looks like you haven't lost your touch. It's good to see you again, Jaina. You too, Arthas. It's been a while since a prince escorted me anywhere. Yes, it has. Well, I guess we should get underway. Our sources believe the plague originated in the region north of here. We should check out the villages along the King's Road. Oh boy. So Arthas and Jaina kind of have a history. They were like the lovers at one point, as told by a book that none of you have read. So I'm not going to go into it other than that. So Jaina is a second hero you get now, and she can actually level up to level 3 in this mission. If you ever pick up a new uh, hero along the way of another one that's kind of your main character, they can level up to whatever level they currently are. So uh, she starts out with Summon Water Elemental, which was that thing you saw that pretty much fights for her. It's like almost... A pretty strong unit you can just summon just and fight free for a limited time. A Either plan. way, let's continue. Of course. Prince Arthas, there's something amiss at the bridge ahead. <laughs> yeah, like kids laughing. That's fucking weird. A sound plan. And also, as you can, it's Prince oh my gosh, people, I'm like a celebrity around here. <laughs> as you can tell, Arthas drops his spaghetti so, pretty hard around Jaina pretty often. Honor. My lord. Someone has destroyed the bridge from the far side of the river. What a dick. There is another way to cross, but it is not as safe as it used to be. Who cares? I'm going. For honor. So switching between heroes can be a little bit complicated. Um, I guess I'm gonna... How am I gonna do this? I'll set... Boy, oh my god, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'll do uh, control one for the whole army. And then Jaina individually is going to be control two. So I could just I press one for the whole army and two for Jaina individually. 
that'll help when switching between uh, hero powers rather than having to go down here and click on them. Bandits. Run. Bandits. That's curious. Fun. I stand. Save the town. Save us. Of course. This asshole. Come back here. Feel my wrath. He's running. Certainly. For honor. Did we win? Of course. Yeah, I think so. Oh, thanks so much. I have a reward for you. What's our reward? Oh, just a giant potion of greater healing. As if we need that. A sound plan. Of course. Hey, dude, you want to talk to me? My lord, there is an ancient fountain shrine nearby. Legends say that its holy waters can restore health and heal grievous wounds. That could prove to be useful indeed. No, not at all. Certainly. Oh, and there goes our water elemental. For honor. It's a good thing Jaina could just resummon it. <laughs> Is there danger? Okay. Certainly. Let's get up in here, kill some murlocs. So that uh, fountain of health, as you can see our optional quest. It's an optional quest in case you can read that. Um, so yeah, it's not really something you have to do, but eh, it can be helpful. As per usual, burn the villages. Hey, look at that, a mall of strength, which increases Arthas' strength by one, of course. strength, and as you might have noticed, Jaina also has her own inventory, but, For you know, honor. it's not, it's not going to be filled with malls of strength, I can tell you that much. For Atypically, uh, as you might have noticed, heroes have, like, things, and if you hover over the, the fist, it tells you what their primary attribute is, and that's generally the one you want to get them above all I'm else. And Arthas is strength, hence why we gave him the mall strength. Certainly. I did not need to explain that, but I did. Oh my gosh, Jaina, it's the worst time for your water elemental to die. Oh, my mouse is freaking out. And Jaina just leveled. Okay, so what else can Jaina get? She can get Blizzard, which is a uh, AoE of damage that can uh, wreck people's faces pretty damn hard. Or she could get Brilliance Aura, which uh, it gives everyone mana regeneration. It's kind of the equivalent of Arthas's uh, give everyone around him armor, except hers is give everyone mana. And that can prove very useful when paired with Arthas because of Arthas's Holy Light. The light is my strength. The one thing he kind of runs out of most when using it pretty frequently in like really intensive fights is mana, which this allows him to use it. So you typically want to grab that shit and snatch it up. I'm going to get that scroll protection for Arthas, and we're going to use it actually in just a little bit. Of course. Certainly. Oh my god, there goes that. Frost or pff, frost elemental, of course. water elemental. Lock your shields and defend yourselves. Their arrows won't get through. Oh jeez! Now we're introduced to a whole Skeletons. new mechanic. Slay them all immediately. I'm actually gonna hold alt here. Pay attention to which of these guys need healing, because these guys actually aren't my army, but I'm gonna heal them anyway. Shows they, you know, don't die here. Honor. What were those creatures, Sergeant? Undead, my lord. This whole village has gone mad. We did our best to defend the villagers, but we'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah. And they become mine. So land. now we're introduced to a new thing, which is defend. Um, basically, it's something footmen can put up, and it makes them... Yeah... They're a lot slower, but uh, ranged attacks do a lot less damage to them when they have that up. Certainly. So, we're not going to have it activated all the time, but, you know. Oh, and reset control one, because we've got more units now. A sound plan. Ooh, potion of mana. Sounds useful. Of course. Go for it, Jaina. Oh my god! I don't mind Jaina tanking a little bit. She can use the experience. And no, the game doesn't work like that. Of course. Of 
course. All a right. Plan. You get the graveyard shift. <laughs> a sound no one's gonna understand that until later in the game. Certainly. Actually, I'm not even sure we're gonna of hear course. that. This must be the shrine that the old man spoke of. Any man who drinks from these light blessed waters will be healed. So from here on out, you're gonna start seeing fountains of health in missions, and they also have fountains of mana on occasion. Uh, but basically, units recover health at a much faster rate when standing next to it. So, if you think your army is bigger than the other guy's army, then fight him near fountain of health, and you're bound to come out on top, and you won't have to do any healing during it. Or you know, just rest there if you don't have a healing unit in your army. That can also be useful. A sound plan. Let's head south. Of course. Oh my God! Cutscene. It's as if the land around that granary is dying. Could the grain itself be plagued? Let's hope not. Those crates bear the regional seal of Anderhal, the distribution center for the northern boroughs. If this grain can spread the plague, there's no telling how many villages might be affected. Sounds interesting. So let's burn it. Or, you know, Arthas can fucking shindig in the back. And there we go. I don't think there's anything in these crates. But anyways, this kind of special ground here is called Blight, I think. And undead units heal on it, so... Gotta watch out for that. And obviously what we've been fighting here is undead. You know, skeletons and whatnot. Oh, Arthas leveled. I didn't even realize. Oh, and Jaina too. Ah, that divine shield is so fucking useless. Oh. <laughs> like, it's not until it's max level, that whole 45 seconds of immunity, is it really useful, because you can send Arthas into, like, a base on his own, and he can, like, wreck shit for a small amount. But we're going to have to upgrade it eventually. We can't just switch between Devotion Ore and Holy Light back and forth over and over again. They'll eventually tell you to take Divine Shield. Like, it's going to be your only option that's highlighted. So, we'll take Holy Light. That's curious. And Jaina. Ooh, moderate mana regeneration on this one. Uh, or do I want to get a much stronger Water Elemental? Because I hardly ever use Blizzard. Maybe if I used it more often, I'd be in better shape. Mm, I'm gonna get a much stronger water elemental. The light He's bigger. Of and, course. You know, stronger. For honor. Certainly. Oh my God. For honor. Certainly. Greetings. We are priests from Quel'Thalas. We've come to help heal the land of this strange curse. As always, the generosity of the elves is greatly appreciated. You should know that there is a granary warehouse at the far end of this village. This evil blight may be evident there as well. We'll check it out. <laughs> so, we got a new unit, is which are priests. Injured? Priests can uh, dispel any, um, you know, buffs or debuffs from units in a wide area, and. What this little sparkling picture means is that they're automatically casting that. I don't have to tell them to. Um, and that's their heal. So they will heal quite well. And this is why you need to use A to attack to an area rather than because rather than a click on enemies. Is because priests will if you right click on an enemy, all of your priests are just gonna go, you know, ape shit on that enemy. They're gonna try to kill it. Whereas if you hit A, they're going to attack it at first, but once an enemy starts to get damaged, your priests are going to stop attacking and they're going to start auto-healing. So it's a much smarter idea to hit A rather than to, you know, right-click. Well, I could use your help. We've got a warehouse to destroy at the end of town. Let's get to it! Hey Jan, that would be a great time for the water elemental. Uh, 
I'm gonna control one that. I'll take care of that. Heal this guy up. Certainly. I actually got a scroll of healing that Jaina's gonna pick up. A sound plan for honor. Okay. A sound plan. Heading forward. Oh my god, that Certainly. water elemental. That poor water elemental. Justice shall be done. For honor. Now I could mock her. Uh, the water elemental to be into my uh, army, but Certainly. once he dies, it's just it doesn't work. Like I can't just summon another one, and he's automatically in the macro. I'll have to reset it every single time, so Certainly. it's kind of, of not efficient in that way. And a by the way, we just picked up a mantle of intelligence, which Certainly. obviously is being picked up by Jaina. It's her primary stat, being the mage that she is. We've been discovered, my brothers. Flee and continue with the operation. I'm sorry I can't stay in chat, but duty calls. That creature looks like it was sewn together from different corpses. Let's study it after we kill it, okay? Man, I didn't even talk about the Mordar team I got. I'll check it out. Talk about a slacker over here. So abominations are quite difficult to get through. It takes a lot of manpower. Now, Mordor teams, which are these assholes, the guys who shoot the rockets. Um, the thing about Mordor teams is that they can't attack things too close to them. They have to attack things that are eh, semi far away. But uh, the thing about them is that they do splash damage, even the friendly units where they attack. So you really don't want them in your army if you're going up against other armies, but they're great at destroying bases Sounds because they're a siege unit and they do siege damage. So care. as you'll see here, they are pretty damn excellent at destroying buildings, as you can see. They can destroy it much faster than an army can. And there's your mission. What was that? And who was that wizard dressed in black? I believe that the robed man was a necromancer. Obviously, he and his lackeys are behind this plague. Well, it's a good bet we'll find him and the answers we're looking for in Anderhall. In Anderhall. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. A pretty fun mission. And as you notice, that necromancer we were just introduced to was uh, indeed Kel'Thuzad. And he is... By far, my favorite lore character in all of Warcraft. It's just a darn shame he's a bad guy. So, we will be <laughs> seeing more of Kel'Thuzad in the next mission, next time on Let's Play Warcraft 3. This has been your host, Ash Pugio Stay classy, folks.